Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Singaporean Talks Money. So today will be a very interesting topic. I minted my first NFT, which is the Mad Market, and let's talk more about it. So NFTs have been the rage so far, and digital assets are what people are looking at now. From virtual land to ships, the possibilities are endless, as almost everything can be a digital asset. I mean, there is no uh, actual functionality for it to be physical. So it's just whether how valuable you think it will be. I have been following various NFT sites and do want to own an NFT, something that can be called mine and is registered on the blockchain. But of course, the hype and prices do make me apprehensive to buy in. And on 8 December, I saw on the chain debrief telegram chat on an NFT release where they provided the link and mentioned that it was on the Kronos chain, which was something I am familiar with and uh, also because NFT debrief did also earlier posted on it on Instagram. The project is the Mad Market where there are 777 genesis of the Mad Market on uh, Ethereum chain and 10,000 of it on the Kronos chain. So the one that I minted was one of the 10,000 on the Kronos chain. Besides getting the copyrighted materials of the Mad Market, and, uh, one other interesting feature of getting it is the higher daily yield that you will get on MN Finance, which is an automated market maker. So a lot of people might ask, why would you get an NFT? I think it really is very intriguing. And once you understand what you're buying, it actually changes a lot of things. For example, it could be being part of a community or a project that you like and wanting it to grow or just owning a piece of something that you like can be one of the reasons why you should get an NFT. For me, I know that MM is not a project as big as BAYC or CryptoPunks, but um, this recent podcast by Chain Debrief with an owner of two BAYCs explains very well on um, NFT's value. And I think I like what he said where he said it depends on why you're going into NFTs. Some go in for the sole purpose of making money, but for him, he will only really go in if he likes the community and the project, which means he will not get it so cheap. So to him, uh, getting into NFTs is not a way, way to uh, earn money, but rather he just buys what he likes. And um, yeah... For me, I think one of the reasons I got in was first the accessibility of it. I think using uh, the Kronos chain and Crows was simple and easy for me. You, uh, because, I mean, Crypto.com is just uh, seamless. And next, I actually like the design of the maquettes, where they look kind of crazy and explains why it's called Mad Maquettes. On the community, I have only just joined the Discord. And so I haven't really explored much yet. And uh, this is the first NFT I've minted. And it, for me, it costs uh, 299 crows. It feels quite surreal buying a digital piece of item or art. And the theme behind uh, Mad Market is from Asia and consists of six of them. And currently, I think they are all uh, anonymous. And it's amazing that a group of six can come up with a project like this. I mean, the crypto world is really filled with talents. And in the FAQ, it was mentioned that some of them used to be from companies like Ethereum Foundation and Consensus. It was really easy and straightforward minting it. So how I went about minting it? Firstly, of course, I used my MetaMask wallet. But you can also use the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. And if you have Kronos available in Crypto.com, you can transfer it via the Kronos network type to your MetaMask. But of course, gas fees apply. And 
so far as of um, time of recording, 10 December, actually the NFT has been fully minted. And I've seen many people who bought more than just one sing from the Discord group. I think the top number one holder holds about 102 uh, met per kit. And for me, I just minted one because I'm not sure where all this leads me to. Although I do regret not minting more. So let's talk about the rarity. Since all the MM has been minted, the creators have also uh, released a rarity check uh, via this website here. The NFT that I minted is ranked 1955 in terms of rarity. It's not very rare. And I think uh, I would also like to share my NFT so you can take a look at it. And I have to say I love it. Although some say the look is not very pretty. Because I mean the features is not very uh, friendly looking. But I love the accessories and colours. Uh, for me right now, I know I haven't made the change of my display picture to it. I'm still pondering. But I'm just really happy at this first... Uh, minting of NFT. So it's a short video today. I hope you do like the content that I've been uh, pushing out. Do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.